Welcome, today's topic is going to be about the time that Poland almost became a superpower. During the reign of Sigismund III Vasa, the king of Poland was also um, the king of Sweden during the years 1592 to 1599. It was only due to the rebellion of his uncle that he lost the crown of Sweden in a, in a popular rebellion. This was due to Sigismund's religious fervour as a Catholic. If Sigismund had not been so um, religiously intolerant, perhaps Sweden and Poland could have combined. But that is not all. Sigismund also had the chance in, 16, in 1610 of installing his son uh, as Tsar of Russia when he was elected by the boyars to be Tsar. But, yet again, Sigismund's religious fervour prevented uh, Wadislaw IV from t- in the, her in the Russian throne as Vladislav I. This was due to him attempting to impose himself as Tsar and trying to convert all of Russia into Catholicism against their wishes. An interesting alternate history would be what what if these three legions would have been united under personal union under Wadislaw slash Vladislav in the period 1642-1648. Such a power would dominate Eastern Europe and would likely expand into Siberia. Their main rivalry, due to their alliance with the Habsburgs, would likely be the Ottoman Empire over the region of Moldova, which was contested by Poland. With the wing two Tsars and the various Russian, force, Russian peasantry forces, as well as Sweden's infamous um, combined arms tactics that led go- that were implemented under Gustav Adolphus's tutor. The legion would be almost militarily unstoppable, leading to a likelihood that Moldova would become part of of the Polish, Lithuanian, Muscovian, Swedish Commonwealth. This would also mean that Poland wouldn't be partitioned and would li- likely lead to a greater economy for both Poland and Lu- Russia, but a likely worse economy for Sweden. Thank you.